Atheist Republic mourns the loss of leaders Sylvia Gerger and Terme Nashvan. Atheist Republic is saddened by the recent passing of two important leaders within the international atheist community, Sylvia Gerger and Terme Nashvan. Terme Nashvan was the co-host and organizer of the Atheist Republic Persian YouTube channel, a subversive political activist, a passionate LGBT rights activist, and an atheist. Almost four years ago, along with Sam Jeremy, she proposed Atheist Republic's founder, Armin Navabi, to form a section of the organization dedicated to providing content and community to Persian speakers. The Persian wing of Atheist Republic has since become a thriving and influential community with a large following. Gossam, a moderator on the Atheist Republic Persian YouTube channel, said, quote, Terme helped to enlighten the Persian-speaking community by helping to set up the Persian section of Atheist Republic. Personally, I owe it to her for the great changes that have been made to my beliefs and values with this YouTube channel. May her memory live on. Sylvia Gerger was the consulate administrator and founder of the Atheist Republic Vienna Consulate. Sylvia had a particular interest in the cause of assisting ex-Muslims, and the Atheist Republic Vienna Consulate became a meeting place for many ex-Muslims who had fled to Vienna from abroad in pursuit of freedom and safety. Sylvia was also the founder of Atheist Refugees Austria, which offered specialized asylum services and consultations that were tailored to address the specific needs of atheist refu refugees, a very underserved group. She was known for her passion for fighting for the LGBT community and persecuted freethinkers and could frequently be seen at weekly vigils in support of Saudi liberal blogger Raif Badawi. Members of the Atheist Republic Vienna Consulate expressed their grief in reaction to this unfortunate news and shared memories of how they felt like Sylvia was like a mother to them. Yeah, I wish more of you knew about both both of them. Terme was um, really dedicated to her activism. Uh, she cared so much about people, so much. Um, she sacrificed so much for everybody else. The, the, the only thing is that she didn't care much about herself. Um, she, you know, she was... So I don't know how to say this without getting punished by YouTube, but she was responsible for her own um, death. She took, I, mean, I think it's okay to say, she took her own life. She was very isolated. She was, as an atheist and also a lesbian, she was not only, you know, her family turned against her, uh, but I also, as she was my co-host on the Persian channel for a long time and she was under constant attack and abuse because of for being you know a lesbian and insults and you know during the show she always put up a strong face but then you know personally by herself like she was like very much affected all the time by all of it you know this is like one reason why it's very important for us to make it normalize both LGBT you know, LGBT and atheism, right? Like, I don't know if you understand how much how much term I went through. Like, she came from a very conservative family, and she, you know, she really believed in what she was doing. You know, she was trained to be a religious educator, like in in Qom, in a religious um, school, and she became full on atheist, and she became so passionate about, you know, ex you know her activism and, you know, f fighting religious dogma and also promoting, you know, enlightenment values, you know, pro-LGBT democracy, secularism. She was very passionate about this, but she was so de dedicated to all of this. She didn't spend much time about her own personal life and she it was very hard for her to because of all the things she's experienced and all the backlash and all the people that were so personally against her so such 
in such vile and disgusting ways they came after her it was very hard for her to trust people to get close to people because she got hurt she got burned so many times when it comes to be getting close to people and people who turned against her that she she had a hard time you know getting close to most people because of that so she just focused on her activism but eventually the isolation became so much you know i guess she couldn't take it anymore you know she she's so nice she was so caring she really wanted to she was so dedicated to maybe <laughs> you know helping iran when they become liberated from the mullahs you know sometimes i could see like when i when i sometimes i felt like the chances for that happening in our lifetime was very low and every time i said that i could see how disappointed she was in what i was saying and she was like you know, because she was so invested in making that happen, or seeing that happen one day, and during you know, I think like you know, eventually when she was when she gave up hope, I think she didn't have much more to look forward to. So I don't know what happened. Um, I yeah. think it'd be also important to recognize how she played a very major role in Atheist Republic's international protest and organizing in support of Iranian atheist prisoner Sohail Arabi. And yeah. um, in fact, if you go on Sohail Arabi's Wikipedia page, there's a video of her that's featured there that talks about the campaign and talks about what he goes through. Um, and uh, Babak on one of his, who's, who Babak, for those who don't know, is a, a co-host of the um, Atheist Republic Persian YouTube channel, um, made a post about her and said, you know, I'm sure the day that Sohail was released from prison must have been one of the happiest days of her life because this was a case that she was so invested in. Um, I also wanted to read something that um, Sarkar Mahmoud sent me about Sylvia Gerger. So, um, Sakar, Sakar is a, another one of the admins of the Atheist Republic Vienna Consulate and wanted me to share um, some of his memories of Sylvia and what they did together in the Vienna Consulate. Saying, I met Sylvia online a number of years ago when the Atheist Republic Vienna Consulate was just founded and AR was looking for some people to coordinate it. We met on a Friday morning in a weekly protest demonstration for the freedom of Raif Badawi. I think she put, took part in the uh, free Badawi event many times before we met, as she was already a well-known face among the re regular demonstrators, and she did take part many times after I met her. Um, I, I was like many, I like many others, was excited about the new consulate. Despite this, I doubt if anyone took it as seriously as Sylvia did. She had frequent discussions with me about how we, what we could do next to promote our consulate event. Besides concerned about the fate of women in the Muslim world and the situation and risks that ex-Muslims face. Sylvia said that we are going to print out special visiting cards for the Atheist Republic of Vienna Consulate. I love the idea. And we designed the card as she wanted and printed them on special template papers that she bought for it. As an enthusiastic coordinator, she distributed AR cards amongst participants and many events during the following months to increase the awareness of Atheist Republic Vienna. I think because of her awareness campaign, our meetups, our meetup participation numbers before, you know, the big disease that's going around got larger and larger. At one point, Sylvia wanted to do something more productive and decided to set up Atheist Republic Refugees Relief for, a Atheist Refugees Relief for Vienna. And then talked about how she was coordinating this with many other um, organizations. Uh, I was just the helping hand with technical, su technical support and other things. Actually, Sylvia was really pushing us forward and keeping us active. She paid for the printing and handing out of free so hail colorful, colorful leaflets, flyers, posters uh, during the fr free so hail event organized by AAR. Punctually organized each and every meeting and called me to confirm the dates and online links. With her death, I have lost a friend with whom I could easily call and discuss any issue whenever I wanted, whether something, whenever something happened in Bangladesh or Pakistan or any other parts of the world or any topic like euthanasia or circumcision. I never felt that, you know, she had children almost my age and that her exchange of ideas had any age gap in it. Oh, and Sylvia ordered Atheist Republic branded t-shirts for a number of Atheist Republic members, including myself. She will remain as an unforgettable part of my memory as long as I live. 
Um, yeah. So Sil on Sylvia uh, go passed on. away on Atheist Day. Yes. Yeah. But go on. Sorry. Yeah. From uh, uh, people have said from complications of a major surgery, which is really important. Um, mm -hmm. So on our uh, web page that I put up in memoriam for these two amazing members of our community. Um, I, you know, there's a lot of people who um, are really struggling with the loss of these people um, who they were close to and um, really considered, you know, in inspirations and really um, uh, important people in their life. So I, at the bottom of this article, I, I included resources. If you're struggling with the loss of Sylvia or Terme or any other loved one, um, I provided links to the Grief Resource Network, which has provided a massive list of resources and hotline that can help you navigate your feelings of distress or just your emotions with this kind of event. Because um, I think it is important to know, you know, that this is very tragic and it is really hit a lot of people in our community hard. But um, that doesn't mean that you're alone. And a lot of other people, you know, are also struggling with it and that there's a lot of people that you can talk to. And I also said in this article that, you know, um, the energy and passion that they committed to the cause of protecting atheists, as well as the LGBT community seemed endless. Their commitment to promoting free thought and civil freedoms inspired many to respond to their call to action and get involved. I hope that the memory of their lives and their activism will inspire people to honor their legacies by continuing the work that they loved so much. So, yeah, this is, you know, really difficult for a lot of people, but the best way that we can remember them um, is by, you know, taking up the mantle of what they started. No, that's perfectly said. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, Susanna. Yeah. You have some comments uh, that you wanted to highlight? Yeah, AJ saying, I regret not knowing. Um, hold on, let me make sure bring this back. I regret not knowing her. She sounds like an amazing woman. Yeah, they both did. Um, King is saying, I didn't know about, I didn't know her, but yeah, sad. Um, Eric saying, what has happened with Sohail Arabi? Uh, what has happened with Sohail Arabi? We pledged to not dress till he got out of Iran. Well, he's out of jail, but he's not out of Iran, right? He's on an so. internal exile and, you know, it's very precarious. And so we kind of have to keep things a little, you know, you have Which to be is, careful to make sure that he's what, not sent back to prison. But Soil Arabi had like a live stream from Iran with Mariam Namozi on Atheist Day, didn't she? Like while he's still in Iran, it's which is like yeah. incredibly brave, unbelievable. Yeah. Um, Secular Sakai, uh, Sakai is saying in memory, oh, a super chat, $20 super chat. And the comment is, in memory of those we have lost with a flower. Thank you so much, Circular Sakai. Uh, That's and Puya very kind. is saying, Thank you. Yeah. You want to read this one? Uh, Puya is saying, uh, we had a live stream last night with Babak and other members of the Atheist Republic Persian community. Remember Terme. I just wish she knew the effect she had on mine and so many other people's lives. No. And... Um, secular rarity saying, I wish I could have met them. They sound like incredible people. This sucks. Yeah. And here's the last comment before we go to the next. Eric is saying, we atheists need to form closer bonds and more tight knit communities beyond borders. That's the only way we can help for now. Yeah. I agree. You know, like yeah, particularly for, um, a lot of people who are living in exile, um, because, you know, either they voluntarily or were forced to leave where they come from because of their views or their politics. Um, people underestimate how much they struggle. Um, like Tara May had been living outside of Iran for a number of years. Um, because, you know, we kind of take for granted. It's like, oh, you're in a new country. You're safe now. Um, but it's not that easy. You leave behind so much you leave behind so many connections and so much support. And, um, you know, it's the, the mental effects that that exile can have on people is very difficult and shouldn't be underestimated. And so um, it's important to, you know, 
be close to each other and check up on each other and tell each other what we appreciate and love and admire about each other while we still can. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly it. Um, okay, so while Suzanne is away, I'm just going to read this comment. Eric saying, when Christians, Muslims, Jews, and even Hindus can form strong bonds, what stops atheists? Yeah. The problem is a lot of atheists think, like, as soon as we get together, like, oh, my God, this is now a religion, which is insane because they're basically saying only religious people have a monopoly over creating communities, which is, like, great job. Just give that to religious people as well. Uh, fantastic. Um, which is exactly what Atheist Republic seeks to address. Exactly. We're, yeah, exactly. And, yeah, people are sending you hugs and kisses and support this. So, all right. Thank you so much for this, Susanna. Um, I don't know how to go to the next news after this. No, thank um, you for sharing your memories of Terme as well. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. I should have shared a video of her. Can I share a video of her? It's yeah. right here. In the, okay, okay, okay. So what is this, she, this, what is this uh, video of her about? This is a video that she made for Sohail Arabi. Oh, okay. So this is a video of Terma in support of Sohail Arabi. One person, because of a post on Facebook, is in the face of Sohail Arabi in 1692. I'm not going to play all of it because you don't understand it. But basically, this is her talking about Sohail Arabi and why it's important, trying to bring attention to the fact that Sohail Arabi is in prison and the fact what we need to do about it. This is, uh, yeah. So, Sohail Arabi, I wonder if, yeah. Anyways. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.